What's going on people of YouTube? My name is be Kurt Yo, and welcome to another video. And yes, yes, this is here. It's a bit of a spot going, but I can't help it. And I don't like makeup, I don't have any makeup. Um, although I have got a video of makeup on Dad and my girlfriends, I swear. But today we're talking about Manchester City. Now, a strange topic for my channel. I'm going to be discussing every team in the Premier League. Hopefully I'll get around to them at some point. Just reviewing their season and, you know, in general Man City because of how... Pellegrini's reign has gone, of course, he is now, or if not, he'll be leaving the club soon. Guardiola will step in and about you know, their past and also their future with Guardiola. First of all, um, I'm one of the people that says Pellegrini has been an awful manager for Manchester City. I'm just check that out straight out there. Pellegrini has not done at all what he could have done at Manchester City. You think of the amount of money they've pumped into the club. The amount of players they've signed. You've got, you know, Sergio Aguero, one of the world's best strikers there. You've got players like De Bruyne coming in. You spent big money on him. You spent big money on Sterling. You have big money on players that have now maybe left. You've got Negredo and Dzeko, who have also been at the club. You've got company at the back. And I think for, for them to win one Premier League and two League Cups whilst Pellegrini was in uh, charge, it's dreadful. It's absolutely dreadful. And there's no excuses for it. His management of the team has been poor, and you know this season it shows. Lots of people were saying, "Oh, you know, son De Bruyne, son Sterling, this season." You know, also Otamendi, big money transfer coming in. Oh, this season, you know, Man City all the way. I couldn't see it because of the fact that Pellegrini was in charge, and he's done. He's done okay. He's won one Premier League, but when you invest that amount of money, especially this season, you expect to be challenging for the title, not pipping Manchester United to, you know, top four on goal difference. Admittedly, it was about 18 goals, I think, they won by. But it's still goal difference, nonetheless. If you had lost that game against Swansea, Manchester United would have got top four ahead of you. For the money that you've spent just to scrape into the top four, that's abysmal. That's abysmal. And, you know, Man City were much better under Pellegrini, uh, under Pellegrini, under Mancini, I think. As much as I didn't like Mancini, um, and Pellegrini's a likeable character, he hasn't done, you know, half of what he should have done at Manchester City. And does that fall down to players not playing for him? Does that fall down to the, the, the fans not helping? Does that fall down to the tactics? It's a bit of everything for me. I feel like players haven't tried. You've got players like Yaya Toure, whose work rate, you know, is ridiculously low. I think, you know, if you're looking on FIFA and our football manager, his work rate is minus three at the moment because it's that low. And, you know, there's no trying from him. And I think they've sold a few key players when they shouldn't have. Nagrido had a good season, then left. I think Milner should have been given more chances and said they bought in Delft. But then again, you've got injuries that you could come in and say that were their reasoning. You know, you had company out for a long time, you had Aguero out for spells, De Bruyne out for spells. A lot of players have been out for a lot of time, you know, you could say uh, Nasri as well, been out for a lot of time. And that you can understand, um, but, you know, you're saying like all the money they've invested into every position, is it just, you know, you lose De Bruyne and you think, oh, well, season's over, lads, whereas I'll just give up. No, it shouldn't be. And if you spend that much money on so many different players, if you one or two of your players are out injured, you should not be, you know, caving in. And I feel like a lot of it is down to the way they play. Um, Pellegrini, I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, I think if you know if you put him in a club that didn't have much money, he would have been gone within the season uh, because he hadn't have money to... The only reason he's got through this is because big players are kind of with big goals at the right times. And they have blown um, teams away. I'm not saying they haven't. They have had their really good games where they've, you know, destroyed opponents. And you think, my goodness, they look good. But so is every team. You know, so, so is every team this season. And for me, Pellegrini, uh, to sum it all up before I start rambling on about more and more stuff and just going around in circles, Pellegrini, he's all right at very, very tops. But he's been a poor, poor manager at Manchester City. Now we move on to the future, Guardiola. And will he come in and do what he's done at Barcelona and do what he's done at Bayern Munich? For me, no. Now, again, Man City fans are already disliking my videos. I now send in bots over them to dislike even more. Uh, hear me out. Guardiola, he has a fantastic record. A fantastic record. But he's coming into a division now, and it's a huge test for him. If he walks in and does, you know, fantastic immediately, 
you know, this season, I'll be impressed because teams are going to spend money. The new TV deal, teams are going to spend money. Let's not be, you know, jumping away from that. And can he work his magic at Manchester City? I don't think he will. I think he, he can in a few years. He won't do what he's done. We'll come in straight away, win things. Because you look at um, La Liga in Spain. You've got Barcelona, Real Madrid, and then for the last few years, Atletico Madrid. Um, but before it was Real Madrid and Barcelona. They're the only teams that were going to win the league when Guardiola was in charge. Then he moved over to Bayern Munich. And the only team that are going to win is Bayern Munich. Dortmund maybe, on occasions. Bayern Munich. You know, and now he's moving into City. And this the BPL, the Barclays Premier League, is not just Manchester City at the top. Everyone else. You've got Manchester... You've got Manchester... You've got Manchester City. I mixed up Manchester and City there. Um, Manchester City. Manchester United. Arsenal. Spurs. You've got... You know, Tottenham that are going to be in there. You've got Liverpool that will be pushing forward. You've got Leicester who won the league this season. You've got West Ham who will be pushing forward. You've got Southampton who will be pushing forward. And as much as the last three, you could say, oh yeah, they're a bit far-fetched. Leicester City 5,000 to 1. Anything can happen. West Ham, unfortunately, faded away in the last game. Otherwise, they could have been pushing for um, you know, you know, good Europa League position. Then you've got Southampton who really, really pressed on. And the amount of times this, um, you know, in the last few years, people have said, oh, this player's been sold by Southampton. Now we'll see if they can do well without them. And every season, no matter what manager they have and what players they've lost, they've come out and they've performed admirably. Now, well done to the players, to the manager at Southampton, and also, you know, the people that hire the managers at Southampton. Because they've made fantastic choices. Pochettino comes in, now goes to Spurs. Koeman comes in, he could go anywhere. You know, apparently Arsenal won him. Who knows? But for Manchester City, I don't think he'll walk in and do well. So you look at you look at the when he was times at Barcelona and Bayern Munich. Yes, his last season for Bayern Munich hasn't been that good, but he's leaving. Players are already on the league, so they haven't really got anything to play for. But you look at it, and you think he's coming into a league where anyone can beat anyone. If Barcelona play at home to Ibar, you know there's going to be seven or eight goals, generally every time. If Manchester City. Let's say they have a home game against Burnley next season. As Burnley have been promoted. One of the lowest um, teams. You know for a damn fact Burnley are going to go there and fight. And it will not be easy for Man City. They may win 3 or 4-0. But it will not be easy. In the, in the Spanish league and the you know, German league, it looks easy. And that's why I don't think City will, you know, they may well. It, I think it will take time for Guardiola. He, Guardiola's had the effect where last two, you know, the only two managerial posts he had, he's come in, he's won things. That will not happen. He may well win things. And I'm saying this, I'm not saying this to try and hate on Man City. I have just said Pellegrini was bad, Guardiola's going bad. He'll have a good season. I think we'll get him into the top four. You know, he's got a tactical know-how. He's built the tiki taka system. You know, he's got fantastic tactics, great um, you know, possession football. There's no doubt about that. Bearing in mind, he's also had done really well in European competitions where there have been other play teams that have been really good. I don't discount that. But he's walking into a league where anyone can beat anyone. If Barcelona, let's say, are in the Champions League semi-final against big team, you've got Ibar in the middle, let's say, or Las Palmas or someone like that, or Levante, you know that you can rest all your big players and you'll still get a good result. In this league, as proven you know, this season, if you rest your big players against any team... You will find it hard. Manchester City rested their best and best players against Southampton in preparation for the Real Madrid second leg, and they got whopped for two. You know that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. Manchester City, they will be. I think they'll be successful under Guardiola if he chooses to stay more than three or four years, um, like he has done in Bayern Munich and Barcelona. But it will not come straight away. I'm easily putting bets on uh, Guardiola not winning any trophies in his first season. So I don't think it will happen. Capital One Cup? Maybe. But for me, Guardiola will take need time in this job for it to work. But thank you guys for watching nonetheless. Hopefully you have enjoyed. What do you think about Man City? How do you think their seasons have gone under, Guardi uh, under Pellegrini? And how do you think Guardiola will take them? Where do you think he will take them? Will he be a success? Will he be a flop? Let me know in the comment section down below. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Spread love and not hate. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.